and welcome back to another Electric Saga 1 demonstration video. This week, we're back on our Electric Tuesday schedule. Now isn't that just great? This is version 0.0.34, so let's jump right on in, shall we? Let's go. Alright, so this week, the main additions were for the death sequence. You know, when Maxbot dies. Poor Maxbot. But, science is science, so let's demonstrate. So, for this, I want you to pay close attention to Maxbot himself. Take a look! That's right, Maxbot has a brand new death animation, similar to the stufferfish in the enemy rooms. So, in the death animation, you'll see that Maxbot has two little, let's say, phases of his death animation. In the first one, Maxbot appears to get hurt with his little crossed eye, and then he kind of stands there. In the second part, he starts glowing blue, and then he, well, disappears and shakes. Well, he shakes, then disappears. This disappearing will be later on followed by an explosion effect with Maxbot's limbs and head and, you know, all of his little bot robot parts flying all around. I think it would be pretty cool. Now, you might be asking, why is he turning blue? Well, Maxbot turns blue because his eye is blue. But not only that, but in the Electric Saga universe, use quite a bit of energy. Or they can also output a lot of energy, such as lasers. And the reason for the blueness is because, you know, that's just a lot of energy. Did you know that the brightest stars can be blue? It's true. Anyway, so because of that, Maxbot turns blue. However, not only that, as I plan a feature to have Maxbot's eye color change, depending on what laser type he's using. So for example, here he would be using yellow. And of course, blue is blue. I think that would shake things up a bit and make uh, a lot more variety. And of course, this color would also affect the death animation. So anyway, there's one more part of the death sequence that I want to show off. If you take one more look at the death sequence, I want you to pay attention for the game over text this time. As you may have noticed, it looks a lot better now, a lot smoother. This is because the game over text now lights up when the bar at the bottom lights up. So I added this cool little color effect for the game over uh, text. I'll display a little, what is it, comparison between the two, right here. So, anyway, there is one last feature I would like to show. And for this, we're gonna go in a whole different room. So, excuse me, Durrance, I got some business to attend to. Alright, so for this, we're gonna go to the enemy room. Hey, Stepperfish. See, the death animations are kinda similar. Anyway, so for this, let's just clear the way. Alright. That should be good. So, for this, I'm gonna jump down and I would like you to pay attention to my falling speed. Pretty standard, right? Now, what would happen if I were to crouch while falling? As you saw, crouching while falling now makes you fall down faster. I feel like that would make a bit sense as, you know, when you're crouching, you're going closer to the ground. You may have no noticed that the jump, the falling, or not falling, but just jumping overall of the crouch jump feels a bit different overall. This is just a little effect from the increased gravity when falling from a crouch. The main reason I added this is because this could be quite useful for dodging projectiles, as sometimes you, you're in the way of projectiles, and you gotta just get down there real quick. So if you do it at the right time, as you can see, 
and get down faster than if you were to continue jumping. Over here, Max Y appears to be low on health. So we gotta get out of here. Anyway, I hope you all like these new features. Let's take a look at death sequence once more. Pretty cool. So, anyway. That would be all for this week on Electric Saga Development. I hope you all like these new updates. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.